Uh, my name is uh, Mohammed Tahir Sadeh and I'm professor here at the uh, University of Bruges. And uh, I'm working on the biological uh, treatment of different uh, waste and residuals into different uh, biofuels and also biopolymers. Everything which contains sugar, everything which contains starch, and everything which contains cellulose, it can be easily converted to ethanol. If you look at the cottons, uh, we have uh, a huge amount of uh, materials which are produced and then people throw it away. But uh, we take about something around uh, 28 million tons per year. And uh, the genes is one of the most difficult part of the cottons. Uh, when we want to convert it, uh, we do some kind of tree treatment. And after that, uh, we add the enzymes in order to split these uh, polymers of the cotton or the genes into the monomer, which is sugar. And then we put uh, baker yeast, then it becomes ethanol. It's not so difficult in uh, theory. <laughs> But if you want to use it for fuel, you have to separate uh, the, this little amount of water and then mix it with gasoline. It is what we have, for example, E5 or E10 or E85 in the market. And how far can you drive a car on a pair of jeans? It depends on your car and how much fuel it takes. But uh, with the current cars that we have in the market, uh, you can drive uh, uh, something about uh, five kilometers uh, uh, per gene. We've been with this project in two different sides. One side is to improve the environment, the other side is to improve also the economy and less dependence on the oil. Uh, we have so far uh, got the data in the lab scale and then uh, I think if everything goes well we hope to have it ready in the pilot scale in a couple of years and then it's ready for the industry to take it in industrial scale. So I hope to have it ready something around five years.